Check out the scenery here. It's so picturesque. Behind me, misty grand mountains, lush vegetation, clear skies, and you know what? The air here is so fresh. Who would have thought a place with such amazing scenery also had a long and interesting history and culture? Well, that's why we're in Xiaoguan today. I'm Yin, and welcome to Travelog. Xiaoguan in northern Guangdong province is a city with captivating natural scenery. In particular, there's the landscape of Danxia Mountain, which will immerse you in a world of green. Trees, plants, and hilly mountains off in the distance. However, that's not all it has to offer. The area is covered with rivers, waterfalls, and also canyons. The land is full of life. If you come to Xiaoguan, you must stay at least for a few days, simply to take in some fresh air, cleanse the spirit, and admire both the grandeur and delicacy of Mother Nature. Here, you'll be welcomed by the most exotic plants, insects, and people. The local Yao minority have been living in the mountains for ages. Still, the main attraction here is the famous Danxia Mountain, known as the Redstone Park in China. It's a one-hour drive from Xiaoguan City in the northeastern suburbs. The red rocks and red cliffs of strange shapes and sizes seem to be the work of a skilled sculptor. It's hard to imagine that they actually come from the mysterious hand of nature. The Danxia Mountains are particularly famous because of the red color of the rocks. And you see, even from the two characters, Dan and Xia, you get that hint. Dan literally means uh, a dark red, and Xia is the brightening of the clouds. So off in the distance, you can see the striking resemblance. The mountains look like clouds floating in the air. The Danxia Mountains' red terrestrial sandstone has given rise to the name Danxia Landform. In fact, there are over 1,000 places in the world with a Danxia Landform, but Danxia Mountain is the largest and most characteristic of them. The layers and layers of red under the rays of sunlight particularly exaggerate its unique structure and beauty. You need to explore the mountain for at least two days. On my first day, I couldn't wait to get on a boat and get a complete view. And this boat will take you to all the right places. Now a boat ride to get a closer look at the mountain. A boat ride is a popular means of touring the area. The Jinjiang River, as it gently flows around Danxia Mountain, reflects the images of the beautiful peaks in its clear waters. These rocks are subject to weathering and erosion, which can create unusual shapes on the landscape. If you use your imagination, the rocks are suddenly teapots, pencils, or ancient instruments, maybe. For millions of years, these rocks have changed, and to this day, they are still being transformed. Well, my first day in the waters was quite spectacular. And tomorrow, I'll climb the mountain and experience it up close. Can't wait. It's 5 a.m. right now, and I'm ready to see the sun rise up on the mountains. The view is supposed to be spectacular, but you know, right now, the moon is still out. Soon to be, goodbye moon, and hello sunshine. It's really early in the morning, 
and I don't feel completely awake yet, but I've managed to drag my body up the slopes to see the sunrise. Luckily, the cable cars start up early, so I can get to the top very conveniently, although you still have to do a bit of climbing afterwards to reach the peak. In the morning, all you can hear are the sounds of your own footsteps and the birds chirping in the distance. To catch the sunrise, you can stay at one of the hotels at the foot of the mountain. However, some people choose to camp out all night on the mountain to catch the earliest rays of light. And when the sun does rise, it's utterly compelling. It's the beginning of a brand new day, and I went to see the most iconic structure at Danxia Mountain. It's this natural formation that draws hordes of people. I wasn't going to miss out either. Ah, can you guess what that is? Well, I think that you're thinking exactly what I'm thinking. You see, because of the natural shape of this rock, people have called it the male rock and made many symbols out of this. You see, male means yang in Chinese, part of yin and yang. Yang is male and yin is female. And as with everything else in nature, there's a balance in everything. There's yin and yang, male and female. There's hardness and softness. And there's also big and small. This is an example. The mountain's real claim to fame is this rare geological formation and its shape really does resemble a male sex organ. Although many mountains have this shape, what's unique is the corresponding female stone. Many people see these structures as sacred and they come here to wish for love, happy marriage, and fertility. Xiaoguan organizes international group weddings with dozens of couples at the foot of this mountain as it's believed that the symbolic male and female structures will bring a certain balance in a relationship, as well as long-lasting love. Who knows what particular power this mountain has, but just the scenery itself is captivating enough. Today, it's all about climbing. It's quite a strenuous task, so please bring a good pair of hiking boots. Wow. Look at that red rock over there. The male rock mountain has the most typical characteristics of a Danxia landform, with stone steps, walls, pillars, and bridges. The climb up the mountain is steep, and the path is relatively dangerous, with twists and turns. So if you're a thrill seeker, this is the path for you. Otherwise, if you're afraid of heights, don't come here. Hey, I'm up here! You see, I'm already halfway up the mountain, but the background here, that is a sight to see. Only gonna get better up there. I soon found out that I was far from halfway up, but with each step, I got a more spectacular view. Danxia Mountain is filled with scenic wonders. Up here, we have an ancient mountain valley. Among them, Ximejai stands out. It was built in the Ming Dynasty. Now, I can't imagine how people used to live here in the old days. Even today, with the railings and long steps, climbing up and down is really scary. At times, it feels like I'm going up at almost 75 degrees. It seems like I've reached the entrance to the village. And you see the gate? It's not as grand as you might have expected. Well, it's because it's practical like this. Think about it. All it took was one villager to stand in the entrance and keep intruders from coming in. So, be firm.
means. You see, the local villagers used to use the natural resources here and incorporate them into all aspects of their lives. For instance, you can see the rocks here used to serve as their homes. And over here, you have the village walls. Now, although no one lives here today, these serve as a pretty good reminder of the past. Besides walls and gate remains, we can't find many remnants left of the villagers' existence. However, they weren't the only ones who adapted to life on the top of this mountain, as there were many of these mountain villages scattered here and there. I'm really a pretty unmotivated person when it comes to mountain climbing, particularly in the mid-August heat. But the locals tell me that climbing Danxia Mountain is one of the most painfully refreshing experiences. And they were absolutely right. After a grueling an hour and a half of climbing, we finally reached the mountaintop. From here, the lush green evergreen forest and beautiful Jinjiang River paint a captivating picture. Well, we finally passed. That cliff over there is like 90 degrees. Not for the people who are sissies, but for me, and for all those out there who are brave enough to endure this, be sure to bring a good pair of sneakers and maybe a hat for some protection from the sun. Luckily today we have all these trees and foliage to protect us and to keep this place relatively cool. Danxia Mountain possesses everything you'd expect from a famous mountain. It's grand, its rocks are strangely formed, the path upwards is dangerous, and the scenery is charming. Climbing up the mountain, 